In this video, we're going to look through the library section, choose the right dialog starters, and initiate our first meeting. As you see on this tab library, you will have all the dialog starters that are available for you. Due through the course um, of the year, there will be new templates added regularly. Our dialog starters follow the scheme of our employee journey, which you can find on the tribe space if you are interested to learn more. We have five elements. We have the starting points, shared values, team collaboration, employee development, and finish lines. Depending on which stage of the employee journey you are, choose one of the dialog starters that are available. You have a short description over each one. If you roll over the mouse, you can find them more. And when you're ready to start a meeting, we will click on start a new meeting. Before I go there, I want to talk about one special uh, dialogue starter that we have. It's called Make It Your Own. And this will be a blank te template, which is available for you to play with it, customize and create the dialogue starter with the 30 questions that we are offering to your needs. But follow that later. Let's say that today I'm going to have an onboarding meeting with a new team member, I go to the onboarding expectations and I click on start new meeting. And here are two important windows. The first one is the meeting name and I highly recommend to be posting names as the more meetings you'll have, you may get lost. So it's gonna be easier to find them. And afterwards, auto close means that the session after eight hours will be closed and Sue or I won't be able to change the card but all the notes will be available for us for review. But if you want to keep it open longer, you can switch out this option. And we click start, and I'll see you in the next video about inviting participants and going from there.